What did you ask this one? Are you looking for something? What do you see in your shoe? So, there was a man by the name of President Madison. President Madison resembled a guy. Well, I am President Madison. Well, what are you doing here? I'm not sure. <laughs> Different than what I thought it was going to look like. What did you expect? Well, church. It is Sunday, isn't it? Well, we're not supposed to gather anywhere unless it's at a church. So this is true in the early 1800s. The Protestant account was we don't allow we don't allow to do anything except the church. They congregate. Mm. Am I right? Oh yes. But the other thing that seems a little odd to me is the dress. <laughs> In fact, if I was to think about it, I wonder about my own. <laughs> what is it that I am wearing? Can you tell? I, it's not familiar to me. I usually wear breeches. Yeah, I always have a little. My colors. Mrs. Madison sent you here. That is a lovely dress. Sir, James Madison. Yeah. Oh, he's crazy. I'm, I feel like I'm interrupting something, so. You have a floor. Can you tell me about your term in office? Well, uh, in the past tense. Do I look that old, sir? <laughs> well, it is 2024. What? No wonder I feel so odd. The other thing that is different is that I seem to be able to speak up. <laughs> Did you know that when I was in Congress, as Secretary of State and then the President of the United States, some of the things that I talked about were never recorded because the Secretary said, Mr. Madison's exordium was so low that it could not be recorded. <laughs> other things seem odd. Uh, some sort of architectural design that I'm not familiar with. I, they're all dressed in interesting ways, and uh, I myself feel quite uncomfortable. <laughs> You're doing well. Feeling uncomfortable? Yes, I think so. Uh, back to the sheep. It's my understanding that you helped the DuPonts bring the Merino sheep into America. Well, yes, and that's what I thought I was going to find was San Pedro. That's so San Pedro was a sheep that was a bull sheep that was imported by uh, E.I. DuPont for the express intent of opening the wool industry to Moreno wool. This was in the early 1800s. It was a, an addition to the gunpowder mills. It sat across from the brandy line, across the brandy line from the gunpowder mills. It sat on a sheep that's called Charles Bass. And that merino sheep that was imported was called San Pedro. San Pedro is the is the mascot for Wilmington Country Club, right? San Pedro. Actually, there were four of those that were ordered. The Secretary of State he had signed off on it for the import in Spain. And at that time, wasn't there was like tension between Spain and France? Oh yes. There was uh, hard to tell which country was going to align with each other and France and Great Britain were at war with each other and we were purchasing sheep from Spain. So uh, it was a bit of a ticklish situation, but... Uh, it was a little tricky. It was a little tricky getting that sheep over here. So once they got it over here, only one of them survived the voyage, and that was San Pedro. And that, we had, that introduced the Marina wool industry here to America. And that's how they supplied the troops and other nations were What troops are that? The troops that you helped command, Secretary of State, we had at least 10 years. 10 years? You got to get the Constitution. We still have the Constitution. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's been amended a few times. Is this a coup of some kind? <laughs> Am I in danger, Mr. Taylor? I'm not in danger at all. Well, I'm sure that we're going to find you the sheep that you're looking for. Should I pass through, or where should I go? Back to where I came from? 
perhaps to the time period that I'm, I'm used to. All right. Thank you. Independence Hall in Philadelphia. He's there every day. He does tours and he represents Madison in movies, TV shows, and Independence Hall. Let's give him a round. Put it on the chair. Give him a round of applause for my brother Jack Taylor. So I promised you candy. You just got up here late, but I apologize ahead of time. Dad's root beer barrels. I thought I 